Welcome to problem 2.19 of David Griffith's Electrodynamics. So today's problem, um, if I can find it again, here we go. It says to calculate the curl of the electric field directly from equation 2.8 by the method of section 2.2.2 and refer to problem 1.63 if you get stuck. All right, so equation 2.8 I have written down here. So it's just the, the general uh, three-dimensional um, form of Coulomb's law, essentially. Um, it just tells you that the general three-dimensional equation for how to calculate the electric field. And if you remember, um, the charge density here is a function of R prime. If you remember, R prime is a vector from the origin to the source points, the sources of the, the fields, so the charges themselves. And the vector R is a vector to the field points, so a point in space where a field is produced. And script R is the vector R minus R prime. So real quick, let's just calculate the curl. So the curl of this electric field which is a function of space. The curl is a, is, is a function of, of space, so it'd be a function of R. So we can pull out one over four pi epsilon naught. The curl doesn't apply to that, it's just, it's just constants. Um, we can pull the curl into the integral and we can ignore, um, since the curl is a function of R and not of R prime, the, the curl does not apply to, uh, to the charge density. But the curl applies to the script R, the 1 over script R squared, and the script R hat, because those are functions of R, since script R is R minus R prime. So this is the curl of script R hat over the magnitude of R squared, I guess we can, and then d tau. All right, so um, at this point, the problem just comes down to evaluating this expression. And this, you can figure this out, uh, problem 1.63 uh, or 1.62, depending on the version of the book you have. Um, there's a part of that problem that walks through this. So real quick, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go through that. So there's a general equation you can derive. So the curl of a function r to the n, where r is just a scalar, r to the n times r hat. In this case, r to the n would be r to the minus 2, so n, n would be minus 2 in our case. But we're going to derive the general case equation. So this is in spherical coordinates, this, uh, this equation. So the curl in spherical coordinates, um, given that we only have a r component, would be 1 over r squared. You can find this in, front of, in the front cover of Griffith's book if you forget what the equation of the curl is in spherical coordinates. So it's 1 over r squared, the partial derivative with respect to r on r squared times the r component, which is r to the n. All right. So let's go ahead and simplify this. So this is 1 over r squared, derivative with respect to r. And so r to the n times r to the second power is r to the 2 plus n power, or I'll write n plus 2 power. Now we take the derivative with respect to r. So we have 1 over r squared. And the derivative with respect to r is n plus 2 uh, times r to the n plus one, because you subtract one from the power, so it's n plus two minus one, which is n plus one. And then simplifying this even further, the r to the n plus one divided by r squared becomes, we have n plus two out front, 
and r to the n minus 1 after this. All right, so this is our general equation. So let's calculate the curl where what is the, the curl of um, r to the minus 2 r hat? Well, it's this. So n is minus 2. So n is minus 2. So minus 2 plus 2 becomes 0. So we have 0 times r to the uh, n minus 1, but 0 times anything is 0. So we get 0 which tells us then that this term in the equation is zero, which then tells us that the curl of the electric field is zero. And basically that's the proof, or one of the, uh, one of the proofs for um, the fact that an electrostatic field, um, which is described by this essentially Coulomb's law, has a curl of zero. All right, so that's, that's about it for this video. Um, if you guys have any questions or you guys need any more help, please let me know in the comments below. I'll be more than glad to respond. I do respond to every comment on every video. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys on problem 2.20.